Hello everyone and welcome back. Today in this video we are gonna see the difference between Windows Workgroup and Domain. Let's get started. Computers on a network can be part of a workgroup or a domain. The main difference between workgroup and domain is that in workgroup all computers work independently. No computer has control over other computers. While in the domain all computers are controlled by the network administrator. Another major difference between workgroup and domain is how data and resources on the network are managed. Let's discuss one by one. Technically, workgroup is a peer-to-peer -peer local area network. Computers at home networks are usually a part of it. In workgroup devices are connected using a hub or a switch and every computer must be a part of the same local area network. In this kind of network, computers can allow each other to access files, printers and other resources. In order to do this, every user must have an account on each of the work group's computers that they require access to use the resources. And now because work group is a peer-to-peer -peer networking model, it removes the need of a server for authentication. Each user can manage his computer independently. And also there is no centralized database. Each device has its own dedicated storage. The good thing of using a work group, it is simple and easy to set up. Most of the operating systems provide some built-in software for creating and managing work groups. The disadvantage of using a work group, it doesn't support large number of devices. Usually it contains a limited number of devices, 10 to 20. That's why it is suitable for small local area networks like schools, colleges and homes. A domain on the other hand is a client server network. It is basically preferred for large public and business networks. In a domain network, security and resource management are centralized. That means every computer on a domain network is controlled by a centralized server that manages each computer within a domain and allows which user can have access to which resources. This centralized server is called domain controller, which is used by the administrator to control the network, including any security issues and permissions, all from one centralized location. This makes it easy for him to make changes because when he makes a change to one device, such as password, it is automatically updated for all the other devices that exist within the same domain. Now here is an important point to mention. If you have a user account on the domain, you can log on to any computer on the domain without needing an account on that computer and access the resources. The benefit of using a domain is that all user accounts, computers and hardware devices like printers are registered with the domain controller for easy management. But on the other hand, domain is complicated to set up. Unlike workgroup, domain has a centralized database for storing data which can be shared with all the devices over a particular domain. Now the question is how many computers can be on a domain network? Well, there can be hundreds or thousands of computers. They can be on the same or different networks. One more thing left to tell you, in case of data loss, it can be recovered in a domain from centralized storage. While in a work group, data recovery is not possible due to the local storage of each device. Alright, this wraps up today's video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I really do.